your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Today we're looking at another day with cooler air over about two thirds of the region and farther to the south. The heat is still in place as the front has been bisecting the area for a while, kind of wobbling north and south a little bit. North of it in the cloud cover, there are areas of showers. We'll see more of those showers and a few thunderstorms during the night. But I think a larger part of the area gets a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. And with that, we get a little warmer as well. Tomorrow may be the one day for several locations where temperatures actually climb before another front pushes southward, at least the same front pushes back to the south, giving us some more chances for rain during the middle part of the week. Now looking ahead, it does heat up next week. So this is all a temporary break from the heat. The heat is not far away and it's not going to stay away the entire uh, remainder of the summer. We do have showers though from Holton across northern Clay, northern Cloud County, or much of Cloud County, northern Riley and northern Pottawatomie counties. You can see a little bit of light rain falling at Clay Center right now. A little bit of light rain showers falling at Holton, but the sun's out at Emporia, and it's a lot hotter to the south right now on the other side of that frontal boundary. Clouds have been trying to break up a little bit in Topeka, but still mostly cloudy. Current temperature is 75 degrees with an east-northeast wind at 3. Rain has only been about 19 hundredths of an inch in Topeka, and a lot of that was late last night into the early morning hours today. And then just not clearing out as much. We only top out at 77, another day well below the average of 91 degrees. But tomorrow we should jump closer to average as the sun returns and we get a little bit more of a clearing. Most of the area picking up about a tenth of an inch or so, kind of a, a little scattering of showers over the central and northern locations. Heat's in place to the south, the tall grass prairie at 92, Emporia 93. Compare that to 72 at Marysville, 71 for Blue Rapids and Riley. But everybody's humid, upper 60s to around 70s. So when you tack that on, Southern County has seen a heat index of 100 at Emporia and 94 at Burlington, but again, just 70s to the north. A light northeasterly breeze, not a lot of wind out there, but the wind is not going to be a major factor. It's always going to be the direction of the wind and where that front is located. What we're watching is what's happening out to the west. You'll see these scattered showers and thunderstorms developing to the west. That should gradually slide eastward tonight as the ridge of heat centered just to our south. We're kind of on the northern edge of that. And with that, cloud cover hangs around. Showers will diminish for a while, but more move in late this evening and on into tonight. After that, we'll clear out. Should have a good amount of sunshine and warmer temperatures tomorrow before more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night and into part of Thursday as well. So still this unsettled weather pattern. We're expecting a drop in humidity late in the week. I think Friday is still shaping up to be the nicest day this week in a lot of ways. Partly cloudy, lower humidity, still comfortable temperatures. Showers and a few thunderstorms tonight, 70. And then we're back up to about 90 tomorrow. We'll see any showers and storms early and then gradually start to clear out as the day goes on. And then as we look ahead after that 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms, mainly tonight into the morning tomorrow, we'll see another chance for a few showers and storms on Thursday. Friday's looking nice and partly cloudy, but then we cloud up with maybe a few more showers and storms over the weekend. Once we're rid of that system, though, we get back into the heat and temperatures start climbing. 93 Monday, 96 Tuesday. Heat index will be well over 100 by that point. And it may not be too much longer after that. The temperatures could be over 100 again. It isn't uh, far away from us. And once it starts moving back to the north, we'll be back in that heat next week. All right. You know, I was really surprised when you said Emporia's in the 90s. Even more surprised when you said Wichita was 102. Yeah, that heat <laughs> is not far away. We're just wow. very different from one side of the state to the other right now. Oh, yeah. Shows. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> well, if you take